How are you sharing your slides and writing on screen at the same time? I got this question the other day as I was doing a training inside of Zoom, and you're probably familiar with the annotation tool inside of Zoom, except I wasn't exactly doing it that way. What I was doing was I was using my iPad to share slides on screen and then writing on those slides and making annotations via AirPlay. Now this feature is easy enough and it's, it's not hidden anywhere, but a lot of people don't seem to really know about it. So let's walk through how I did exactly what I did while I was doing this presentation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up PowerPoint on my iPad and then I have a file that I've already pulled inside of this here and I'm gonna go over to where it says slideshow. Now I'm gonna click on presenter view and you'll see how this comes up. I can slide along the bottom here and you'll see the different slides that I, that I have there, okay? But I'm gonna go back to the first one for the time being. One of the things I want you to notice is that up at the top right here, I've got some icons, right, that allow me to kind of already write on my screen. Let me go to a slide that it's a little bit clearer. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna choose the black and you can kind of see that I can right on the screen there, or I can choose the highlighter style and you can see that I'm writing on the screen, okay? The other thing that I really like about this is that I can click that little blackout box and I can draw, you know, I can draw different things here. Hold on one second, let me see. Oh. Let me do it this way, blah, 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 algebra problem, boom, okay? So A plus B equals, I can get out of there and go back to my regular slides. I can clear the pen markings, etc. But let's say that I wanna do the same thing inside of Zoom. So here's how Zoom sets this up. If I go to my uh, share screen option, button right in the middle, what comes up is desktop, whiteboard, and here's the one that a lot of people don't use. iPad, iPhone via AirPlay. If I click on that and then choose the share button, here's what happens. It asks me for the, you know, make sure that I'm connected to a specific network, and then I got a tap screen mirroring, and then I'll choose the specific device there. So here's what happens. I've got my my PowerPoint open, but on my iPad device, what I'm gonna do is I'll swipe down from the top right, and I will see this button here that's called screen mirroring. I'm gonna press that. So once I've pressed the device, then um, I'll just click the screen, get rid of that, and you'll see that it starts sharing directly to the device. Let me move this out of the way here. Now, I can actually just use my pencil here and you can see it right on the screen. Okay. Um, let me go to another screen so that you can see that even better. Okay. I can do whatever I need there and I'm just Right, and again, the same thing that I can do is I can press that little black button up at the top there and I can draw also robot head, whatever, <laughs> right? All right. So that's another way that you can more easily connect with your audience using your iPad and your Apple Pencil as an annotation tool right inside of Zoom. For more tips and tricks just like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, bing, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I drop new videos. Don't forget, head down to the description and join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab. If you have any additional thoughts, comments, or questions, 
be sure to leave those in the comments. I answer those personally, and I'll see you in the next video.